More than 200 wounded or ill service members are in Colorado Springs for the 2014 Warrior Games. Athletes are competing in several sports, archery, cycling, shooting, sitting volleyball, swimming, track and field, and wheelchair basketball. The competition kicked off last night with a spectacular opening ceremony at the U.S. Olympic Training Center. For more, we join Petty Officer Brandy Wills, who is part of our team coverage at the Games. You're right, Sergeant Usher. I am here at the United States Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, and last night's opening ceremony was quite a sight to see. Go ahead and take a look. As the Warrior Games torch was lit, you could see it in their faces, the magnitude of this event and the work it took to get here. It's um, the sports here for Wounded Warriors and competing is the best therapy for me. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm normal and it makes me feel like I still make a difference. 200 athletes trained hard and made it through trials to earn a spot to compete here in Colorado Springs. Many, like retired airman Stephen Mallets, in multiple events. I played volleyball growing up, standing. Uh, so coming into a sitting volleyball sport was, was an adjustment, but I love it. Um, I've never thrown shot put or discus, but here I am competing in the games with it. So it was a... Uh, it's taking a shot full of a, <laughs> of a lot of track and field practice. And um, swimming, I've just, I don't know, I've always been a pretty good swimmer, so here I am. Here in this place, the hallowed halls of the U.S. Olympic Training Center, where America's elite athletes train. Looking at all the people who's been here, they compete in the Olympics, and they come here to train, I am honored to be here to train as they are. This is the Olympic Training Center. Like people dedicate their lives to get here and, and all for one event or one moment in time where they can be the great. Um, it's, it's so humbling. I mean, just seeing the rings, you know, it was, um, it was definitely uh, eye-opening, you know, especially, you know, you're walking down, down the hallways and stuff, you're passing Olympic athletes you've seen, seen on TV at Sochi. So that's, that gives you goosebumps as it is. And that was just a look at what happened last night. Today, coming up on Adaptive Warrior, we're going to take a look at the results from last night's sitting volleyball event and so much more. So we're going to go back to you in the studio, but tune in.